Hi, I'm Victoria Ballou, creator and publisher of Astrologic Magazine, where you can only find it at astrologicmagazine.com. And I want to thank you for trusting your intuition and coming here in this moment to choose a stack of cards to hear the message that your subconscious has for you. Because the tarot, indeed, is a channel of your subconscious energy. And so, please choose a stack of cards. Would it be underneath Vesta, my warrior priestess? Or perhaps it's underneath this beautiful fossilized shell. Or maybe it's under this quartz obelisk. So, make your choice. And while you do, oh, and let me suggest that you go with your very first impulse. Because that is indeed your subconscious talking to you. Don't think about it too much. And while you make that choice, let me share with you my favorite quote, which I live by, and I hope that it helps you as well. It's by Albert Einstein, who said, everything is energy. That's all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want, and you cannot help but get that reality. This is not philosophy. This is physics. All right, are we ready? Let's begin with stack number one. Underneath Vesta, who is the main character in my Tarot Legacies Urban Fantasy series. And let's see what's going on here. The very first card that we will look at is your overview. This is your energy from a broad standpoint at this moment. Let's see what it is. Well, this is really nice because you have the Eight of Discs. It's called Prudence here in the Toth deck. And what this represents is planting a seed. It's really about patience. It's about understanding that you have planted a seed and that you need the patience to allow it to grow, to, to grow to maturity, to flower, to bear its fruit, because it's, it's not an instant process. So this is where you are right now, is understanding that you are in some phase of this prudence process. Maybe you have just planted the seed. Maybe you're being just patient right now as it grows from a tiny little idea or a startup or whatever it is that you've created and you're understanding that patience is necessary right now. Or it could be that you are at that moment where it's about to bear fruit. So whichever phase this is in, because there are several uh, with this card, then this is all good. It's creation, right? This is you creating, and that's fantastic. So this is your overview energy. But we always have a challenge because no matter how good everything is going in life, there's always something that we need to focus on that we can improve in our journey because our journey never ends. It's part of being here in life and part of the life school, right? And so let's take a look at the challenge card and see. Okay, and so we have death. The death card, of course, is about one thing ending and another beginning, regeneration, rebirth, right? And so as we're looking at this in terms of the prudence card, what this is talking about is that it's time for, maybe it, it looks like it's time for you to reap the rewards of the fruit that has come from this prudence card of your patience and that it's time to let a cycle complete so that another cycle can begin. Or you might be just at the very beginning where you're needing to turn loose of something to allow this planting. And what this is saying is, yes, you are at that beginning stage in your overview right now of planting a seed. And you must remember that everything that has come to that point must die back, right, in order to allow something new to begin. So what this is indicating is there's a struggle here that needs to be resolved. And that's what the third card, your course of action called for, is all about. Because this is the action that the tarot is recommending that you take in order to deal with this challenge. I'm not surprised to see this. It's the chariot. And so 
this card represents victory. I mean, that's an amazing energy um, from this major arcana card. And it's saying that you do indeed have all of the elements here for victory of whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. But there's a caveat because what it's also saying is that you need to carefully weigh all the options. You need to hit the pause button for a moment before you leap into something because uh, that is going to really assure the victory that you're wanting to, uh, to achieve. And so here is what we're looking at right here in, in your reading today. And that is you have the Eight of Discs Prudence saying that you're at the point of planting or some stage of growth and even to the point of perhaps reaping uh, the fruit of something that you've been patient with. And if you're not patient, you need to be because here is the death card, which is saying, yes, it's time for you to tune in to allowing something to die back so something new can grow. And then finally, the chariot, which is saying yes, and be very careful, cautious, as you look at uh, the choices you're making right now, because there is the indication of you can absolutely nail this and have a victory with whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. But you need to take a look at all those options and not move quickly until you know that you've really taken a look at everything. And then put your foot on the gas and don't look back. Have no regrets and go forward. That is what this card is talking about. All right, let's take a look at stack number two. We're going to move our beautiful fossilized shell over. And take a look at the first card, which is your overview. This is your energy from a broad standpoint right now. Let's see what it is. Well, you have the Two of Cups, love. How nice is that? Love takes, of course, all forms. It can represent the um, overview energy of love that you have with uh, your partner. It could represent love that you have for your children or your parents. Uh, it can represent the love you have for yourself or for a friend. This um, ha is a broad spectrum, right? It can represent the love you have for your home, for your job, whatever. This is energy you're resonating with, and you know what it is right now. And so, how wonderful for you. Nothing. There's no greater uh, power within the universe than love, no better energy to have than love, so... That's fantastic. But we always have challenge energy. That's part of the path that we're on in our uh, school of life here. And so let's take a look at what your challenge is right now. Okay, so this is really interesting. You have the Ten of Cups. This is talking about fulfillment. I mean, total happiness, fulfillment. And while we have the Two of Cups, um, that you're resonating with, you're being challenged with the Ten of Cups. And so this is indicating that there could be uh, love that's resonating between you and someone else, but that the challenge is for this to broaden into encompassing more, more people or a greater um, perspective there is some, and I know that you know what this represents. This is, and where, you know, the tarot, of course, is limited by 78 cards, and this is their way, its way of expressing it to you, that while you have this beautiful Two of Cups as your overview energy, the Ten of Cups is saying there's more to it that you need to address and be aware of and embrace. So think about that, but... Um, Thankfully, we have the third card, which is your course of action called for, which is going to directly address this challenge energy. Let's see what it is. Okay, it is the Princess of Cups. There's clearly big emotional energy happening for you right now. Uh, Princess of Cups as your course of action called for. A couple of big things right here. Um, 
from the balcony view, meaning the very positive view of what the Princess of Cups represents, this is a deep dive into your emotional life, right? And so the course of action could be, and I, it's a big could be at this moment, um, diving very deep into this emotional situation that you're involved in um, and really just getting to the very heart of it and focusing on it 100%. Now, if you're in the balcony, if this energy is resonating in, in, in excuse me, if it's resonating in the basement rather than the balcony, then what this card is saying is that you need to back off a little bit. You know, if this is shadow energy, shadow princess of cups energy, then this is could be coercion. This could represent manipulation, and it's maybe not even coming from you, but energy that you're having to deal with. It could represent a person. You know, the princess could represent a male or a female in your life, could represent you, or it could just represent the energy. But... If this is a basement energy that's resonating here, this is saying uh, it needs to be addressed immediately, whether it's coming from you or from someone else. Um, this is not happy, uh, productive energy at this point, and that would explain why the Ten of Cups is your challenge energy. You know, if it is the balcony energy, if it is that high positive energy, then what this is saying is, yes, dive much deeper into bringing more of this happiness that uh, may be just focused on you and one other person. Focus on bringing this to be more inclusive, you know, um, and you will know exactly what I mean. So this is a big, this is big energy happening here. I'm really glad you came for this reading because uh, there's something that you definitely need to focus on in terms of this emotional situation that you're in right now. You might even want to replay this to really hear what I'm saying and recognize whether this Princess of Cups energy is balcony or basement. Good luck with that. Okay, third stack of cards. Let's take a look. Your overview card is your energy from a broad standpoint right now. Let's see what's going on. Okay, Ten of Wands. This is called oppression here in the Toth deck. So you're feeling stress, you're feeling um, pressure from either yourself that you're putting on yourself or from someone else, but it, this is um, energy that's talking about uh, really needing to um, turn loose of this energy and, and feel more happy and resolved about something. This is really important that you hear this because if you're feeling this stress, this pressure, this um, outside force or even inside force that's put upon you, you have to change it. Um, and so we're going to look at the challenge card because if that's not enough of a challenge, there's we are going to get a little more information, a little more clarity on what's going on. And let's see what that is. Okay, um, you know, this is really interesting because you have the Nine of Cups happiness coming up here. Um, what this is talking about then as your challenge card is that it's time to embrace happiness. You're, um, you're just not happy, right? And you may be overworked. You may be in a relationship that's just not working for you and or, you know, and that could be a love relationship be a work relationship, it could be a friendship situation, something is just not bringing the happiness to you. And ultimately, that's what we all need to have. We all need to embrace happiness and have that as a daily part of our lives. Um, so that's your challenge. We're going to take a look at the third card because, uh, thankfully, we have a course of action that you can put into motion according to the tarot to help you move through this energy. Okay, and so it's the Eight of Cups. It's called Indolence. And so this explains a lot. What this card is saying is that, you know, here's another Cups card because obviously this is an emotional situation that you're working through. 
And this is talking about you just feeling stuck. You're not really moving forward in resolving this. You're not really moving backward in um, going deeper into it, but you're just kind of mired in this energy that is very sticky and unpleasant and not bringing you any happiness. And so what the tarot is advising as your course of action is to move from this spot. Um, dissolve this indolence that you're feeling. You know, take steps to do that immediately because it is in your best interest always to feel happy. And so when we look at all three of these cards, it's clear that you're very stressed out right now and that that sense of joy that should be in your life is not present and that even further as we look into it, you are stuck. You may have been like this for a while trying to negotiate, navigate through this energy of, you know, maybe feeling like, oh, I don't have to be happy. I'm supposed to be uh, overworked right now or, you know, I'm, you know, all sorts of excuses that we give ourselves but I'm telling you that, no, you deserve to be happy every single day. And the tarot is now here sharing this information, this very direct message with you. And that whatever this is, and I'm sure you know what this is, it's time to take those steps to move out of that swampy uh, energy that's making you just feel stuck wherever you are. And good luck with that. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please leave any questions or comments you have for me because I am always here to serve you with those. And of course, if you ever wanted your own private tarot reading with me, I'm available at victoriabelew.com for a booking, um, tarot dreams, and I'm always happy to work with you if you would like my assistance. Thanks for joining me.